I wanted to show Tiny Wolf range. Did a range test here and got one kilometer. I probably could have gone further because you can see it's hard for me to find a straight street in my area. Everything is either mountainous or curved. And you can see right where I lost it, I got some trees blocking there. So a higher altitude probably would have kept me going a little bit further. That'll be another video. So I'm working on, I want one mile range, working on one mile range on Tiny Whoop. So, but, uh, so this video I'll show the downlink video and I'll show the range check, my setup. 17.9 gram, four and a half minute flight time on a 210 milliamp hour battery. Clear view racing with the 9 dB patch antennas. Long range has to be directional. There's no way around it with the 25 milliwatts that you have. And I tested the 200 milliwatt camera. It was a piece of junk. So these are good cameras. My uplink, you can use as much power as you want, not legal though, but this uplink is 1300 milliwatts, 2.4 gig, so there's no problem with fail saving. The patch antenna, I got a video on that. There's easier ways to do the mods and there's tons of videos on raising power on your transmitter. So let me show you the video of the flight. So I'm taking off. I'm sitting under a tree and I have a transmitter in my lap, the fat shark goggles with the clear view, and I'm trying to look a little bit upward to stay within the radiation pattern. I fly over to Busy Street close range, that way I don't have to worry about fail saving or not fail saving, those are gone now with the high power. I don't worry about losing video. And then I'm on a somewhat not busy street. Where I live, it's really difficult to find a straight line of sight street you know, to range test. And I found this one was 2,000 feet long, but I ended up blowing way past what I thought, so I just kept going. The purpose of this test is ultimate just range. See when it loses video and see what the clear view does. Now here it gets a a little bit sketchy, but seem to be able to just fly right through that. Keep going. I might have maybe my head position was down a little bit. It's anything that's long range, you gotta track the antenna on the aircraft. There's just no way around that. So I moved to the middle of the street because I know I'm gonna end up ditching and I'm hoping I don't get run over in that area. Nice thing on this tiny whoop, it's so small you can ditch it and nobody's gonna know it unless you like they were right next to it they're never even gonna know there's something there. Looks like a little piece of trash on the road. You know, it keeps, keeps going and going. Now what happened is uh, the terrain changed so I'm probably getting some tree blockage because uh, you can see I'm about the same altitude as those trees. I didn't really want to go super high on this range test because uh, I, I, I wanted to be able to land on the street and make it easy to locate it. So keep going. Notice the lock on the upper left corner and the clear view. It's keeping the digital lock the entire time. If I would have lost that digital lock, the clear view really gets sketchy. And uh, it's staying there. Uh, you'll see at the end, I think it loses the lock. And if I was going to return back, I would have had to turn around already. But I'm not flying at a fast, fastest speed possible. So right here, I'm probably too low, it looks like, because the way it went out so fast. Now the lock just disappeared. And because uh, now I'm basically below horizon. And so I get in my van and go get the tiny whoop. 
Okay, I'm driving to go get Tiny Whoop. Ditched it in the street. Hopefully it doesn't get run over. Past this street. Hope I don't run it over. Right around this square ABC sign. Let's go find Mr. Tiny Whoop. Okay, now I scan left and right for signal. I'm on the street. Down here. Tried to ditch it in the middle of the street. Range went a lot further than I thought it would go. Okay, now I need to use RSSI. Still down here somewhere. It's looking at that building. And it's sitting on pavement. There it is, sweet. All right. Yeah, you want to be on a abandoned street, but I went way further than line of sight. It's probably why I started losing it. So here's the setup I was using. 18 gram tiny whoop vertical polarization. I have a long, elongated wire wrap antenna, lightweight. I have a whole video on this. You want to see how I build it. 1300 milliwatt uplink, 2.4 gigahertz. I got a build on that. You don't have to put it inside. You could, you could strap it on the back and make it a lot easier to build. Downlink, vertical polarized. Clear view racing receiver and pretty decent range uh, with this setup. Not the mile, I'm trying to get a mile from my house. I'm keeping working on that project. But this is, a, this is my, my portable, when I want a tiny whoop somewhere, this setup works out really nice. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.